watching a PC Whiz Kid review. Today we're looking at the Plexstar M9 PE SSD. This is an NVMe M.2 form factor SSD. Comes in different sizes. Today we're looking at the 256 gigabyte model. Comes in 512 or 1 terabyte model, of course. And uh, here are some specs which we're going to look at more in detail. So we'll just put that aside for a second. If you're looking at different types of SSDs from Plexstar, we've got the PCI Express card with RGB lighting on the top. Very nice. We've got the M.2 form factor with the heatsink, which is what I'm reviewing today. And it has a nice aluminum uh, heatsink around the top. If you remove it, it reveals the Marble 88 SS 1093 controller and the Toshiba 3D NAND chips on there, right? That's a 64 layer 3D NAND technology from Toshiba. Now you bundle all that together with the Plex Nitro and the Smart Cache technology and bam, we're going to get some really fast results, especially now these days they come with nice low power DDR3 memory, 512 megs on this one. You can see here some sequential read and write speeds that uh, Plextor is suggesting we should be able to get. Okay, now of course results will vary depending on the type of hardware and the OS configuration that you have. So if you can maximize and get the most compatible machine or hardware, you're really going to be able to utilize and get the most bandwidth out of this uh, SSD, which is what I'm trying to do, right? But Again, you don't want to break the bank. We want to get something that's, you know, that works uh, and that meets the specifications that it needs in order to uh, to uh, work at optimal settings. Here are some uh, specs. Again, you can pause the screen at any time. As you can see, there are five years warranty, so you know Plex are standing behind their product. Compatible with many different operating systems, as you can see right there. Support for many different features, which are standard these days with lots of different NVMe SSDs and of course here is my test system in case you're wondering Windows 10 we're using the AMD Ryzen 5 and a gigabyte board with 16 gigs of memory installed on that board you can see the Plex Store M9PE very nicely snug in between the two PCI Express slots put the graphics card right on top nice air cooling going on in there and here are some benchmarks starting off with the temperature 28 degrees Celsius very nice and cool not to mention quiet so boot up times into Windows seconds absolutely marvelous to see this running and booting up apps your OS everything why well let's take a look Addo disk benchmark is proving us here that on the sequential read and write it actually exceeded what was marked on the box there what they suggest with 3038 megs per second on the read and 10071 on the right not bad the crystal disk mark also concurred as you can see there in those sequential read and write so definitely meeting and exceeding actually uh, on the uh, on the right as well so i can't stress enough these days prices are coming down a lot on nvme's uh, M.2 form factor SSDs. This is really the way to go if you want to have a fast operating system, you want things to load quickly. Um, definitely recommend that you install your operating system on one of these and then have, if you want, a, a separate SSD for your uh, backups and other apps and things like that that you don't access as much. Look at ADA64 here on the linear read, an average of over 2,000 megabytes per second as well. So all of these tests are all in agreement that this is one of the best, fastest NVMe SSDs that I've tested from Plextor so far. Definitely um, a, a sight to see, a sight to feel, lightweight, low power, fast, five years warranty. What more can you ask for? Well, the latest pricing is below. I'll add the latest deals if you're wondering. It's actually priced very well. And um, comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd like to thank Plextor for providing it. Would you be getting the PCI Express version with heatsink or without heatsink? Thanks for watching.